everyone. Today we're going to be looking at a VLC programming example of a palletizer. And we'll also look at the testing or the sequence of operation. We can see all that within this video here. And what you'll notice is that I'm currently connected using factory I.O. to my Brix PLC using my Ethernet, which is right here. And I'm communicating to my do more software through my USB connector located right here. So the first thing to do is we'll take a look at the actual uh, factory I.O. and we will look at the control panel. And the control panel you'll notice is that we have our standard start stop reset. We have our manual auto. We have a counter counting the number of boxes that we will put, be putting onto a pallet and we'll count the number of layers of boxes that we can put on there. We've added to the standard scene a layers and layers button. So if I hit, because I'm in manual, if I hit the layers button, you can see that I can increase the number of layers up to four. So in our example here, we'll, we'll do two layers so we can see the intertwining of the boxes. So the, the turning of the boxes onto the pallet. So we have the two layers and um, we'll just reset that. We'll go up to auto and what we can do is then start the process. So as soon as we start the process, you can see the boxes now come down the conveyor. We can see the pallet now entering the unit and it will take it up the elevator. If we look up here, we can actually see now the um, boxes being layered onto this onto the plate. So we'll get a total of uh, six boxes per layer and then the plate will open up and drop it onto the pallet. The pallet then lowers down and now we have a turning apparatus that turns the boxes to then intertwine the or interlink those boxes onto the next layer. Now once we have a full, full uh, pallet which we set for two it will actually now drop down so now we have a full pallet now. It will then exit and a new pallet comes in and the elevator takes it back up again. The process then continues all over again and we load the um, pallet up once again. So at any time we can actually uh, stop this process by hitting the stop key or we can start it again. You can see that uh, uh, very straightforward, it's very easy and what we've done is applied the five steps of PLC programming development onto this model of the factory I.O. so you can see how we're actually moving it down and the full pallets are then coming out of the palletizer. Elevator goes back up again. So that is a sequence of operation for our, our PLC programming example of a palletizer. Now, if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just as you have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Now all the links that you see here and, can, uh, and downloads can be found on our website. Again, accautomation.ca. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.